There you go. 34, 18, 9. security here. Me and Julie have thousands of fans. I've got some characters here though. Woo. Uh, thank you for this tremendous uh, induction this award. To be introduced by Bob Rigby is an honor in itself because there was no better goalkeeper in this country or better athlete than Bob Rigby was or friend. Someday we'll be standing up here and we'll be honoring him. Ooh, yeah. Follow Al Chost into this uh, Hall of Fame and to be associated with the gentlemen and the women with the red jackets on. It's quite an honor. You might have had to pick a year to come in or what? <laughs> The women's game of soccer would not be what it is today without her leadership. And uh, my love and admiration for her is so enormous. Um, I'm, I'm just so proud of her. So thank you. You're so to rescue <laughs> It's fitting, you know, Carla rescued me often when I was coaching the national team. Now if I can step in and assist her, I'm more than happy to. Congratulations to all the inductees and the 1986 women's national team. It's an indeed an honor to be up here to present Julie Foley to the Class of 2007 National Soccer Hall of Fame. As captain of the USA, Julie, leadership was legendary. Recently, I saw Christine Lilly, and I asked her about her changing role with the national team. Now, she is captain of the women's national team, and she said, I use Julie as my captain role model every day. I try to be as positive and as responsible as she was, but I'll never be as funny. Present Julie Fowley to the National Soccer Hall of Fame Class of 2007. Yeah. 
now because I, I knew I would get up here and I wouldn't be able to remember a lot of it. So two things kept coming back to me. Two things kept coming that I kept thinking about over and over, and that's history and legacy. And I think all athletes, no matter what sport they play, they always want to strive to know their history. Who were the people that came before them? Who were the pioneers in their sport? I see these guys in red over here. I see Carla beside me. And I think, I I'm so lucky to be a part of that history now. So big round of applause to these Hall of Famers. I think about legacy. I think about what type of legacy we want to leave as a team and as an athlete when you walk away from the sport, how you want to leave the sport in a better place. And I think it's particular fitting when we talk about history and legacy that the Hall of Fame brought in the 1986 team, the first ever women's national team is here today. So thank you all for being here. George, uh, I, I can't imagine how you're looking forward to this day to be over, actually. Uh, I can't imagine how much work you put into this day and how special it's been for all my family here. It is, I have so many family and friends that are here and for the work that you guys have put into this. And this phenomenal museum that pays tribute to incredible players like Bobby Smith. Incredible builders like Alan Rothenberg. If you haven't had a chance to get inside, please make sure you do because it's so much a part of our history that's so important to know. So thank you to the Hall of Fame. So as I was thinking about these two things, it was interesting because moments, I noticed one thing, that it wasn't the moments that coming, kept coming through my mind. It wasn't the 1991 World Cup, the first ever World Women's World Cup we won. It wasn't the 1996 Olympic gold medal. It wasn't Brandon ripping her shirt off and getting naked in 1999. It wasn't even this last Olympics we won, which we probably shouldn't have, but we had the gut to pull it out in 2004. The things that kept flowing through my mind were the people. And I thought that was interesting because I would have thought it would have been the moments when you're standing up here talking about it. But it was always the people that floated through my mind. And, and the first person and the first team I ever played for, the Mission Viejo Soccerettes, Go Green Machine. Mia, you know I'm going to sing it. But nobody messes with the green machine. Uh, Every, every green team that would come up to our national team, I would go, no, 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 body, that, 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 green. I had the, I had the entire national team singing by the end of the 18 years, but, um, that was the first team I ever played for from the age of seven till I went to college. And no one, I think, nowadays plays for a club team for that long. The Green Machine, my best friend, Heather McIntyre, buddy, is in the audience today. The first person I ever played with, we went to college together, and she taught me the value of teams from the very beginning. And she's wearing green. I love it, Heather. Look at her standing up short of her green on. I saw my college teammates sitting next to her, Chris Simons who taught me the value of just being absolute nutballs, that crazy is the best thing to be. I mean, I had all these great teammates in college. We were so close, and we would laugh all the time. They taught me that laughter is definitely permitted, not just on the soccer field, but in life. I saw Kerry Tatlock, a dear friend who was the first to believe in our team before others did. She came on as our marketer way back when, and now she's one of the best friends the team's ever 